hi and welcome to python system of a stock management system let me show you guys how this works first of all i'm going to click on reset there okay. and we just need to select whatever item that we would like to hire or buy for the day and there so it's between 1 and 30 days so all we just need to do is click on any of these that we agree on and just click on total there we go there. we can reset and exit if we want I'm now going to exit I'm just going to select another item entirely maximum day days is 270 and that's what you are being built for so just click on method of payment and click on total there so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Python development environment and we'll put one of these together and welcome back to Python development environment I'm going to start by importing as follows import ticketer and import as follows the next thing I'm going to do is let me create my class and then I'm going to call that stock management systems I would then define my methods and just enter initialize and that is going to be the okay, self comma root and the next thing is I'm going to now say self dot root equals root and add as follows so now I have the title the German tree and the background color all set so for now I'm just going to run up the form and save the program let's go to file save as I'm just going to call that so it's going to be pi underscore stock management system so let's click on save there we go okay now that is save oh there's something missing here there we go so let's try it out and see how it's going to look like it's just going to be a frame that's it done all right we're on the right path so the next thing i'd like to do now is let me create my I'm going to create my frame so that's the name I'm going to call my frame and that is the widget itself it's going to be inside self dot root copy that there that's my widget created and let me just add a border I'm going to make that border approximately 20 comma and the other thing is let's go for the width the width is going to be 1000 uh, 1350 and let's make the height we'll make that about maybe 700 and let's say my background just gonna change the background let's make that black there we go and I've also get it parted so the next thing now is I'm, not, I'm just going to say main frame dot grid there that's it done so I'm going to run that you, you guys won't see it but you should be able to see a line around it so let's see that should be 700 okay so let's run it again and see that there we go there's an error somewhere let's check out the error no it should be in lower case it should all be in lower case okay then now let's run that again there we go you can see the the border around it so now that the framework is done I'm just gonna copy this same framework and now we use it for another frame I've called this very frame we get we get frame 
so that's the name of it equals that get rid of that so this widget frame is going to be right inside main frame there now I'm going to carry out some maintenance on it the border in this case is going to be 10 the width is going to be let's make that 750 okay the height 600 or oh, maybe we should go for 800 for this I can always readjust that the color I'm gonna go, go for games borrow yeah that's the spelling okay right padding I'm gonna make that about two and left padding no X padding I mean horizontal padding that will be 10 and I'll get it raised as well okay now widget frame come right here I'm going to get it parked let's get it parked that's easier Pad, um, side, maybe left or right, whatever. Equals. I only need one of those. There we go. Okay, let's run it and see how that's gonna look like. There we go. All right, close that. Now the next thing I'd like to do now is to define my all the frames that will be inside this very frame wicket I'll call it zero one no zero the first one will be called zero so let's come down here and say widget frame zero equals all of the above and enter zero here and this is going to be called widget there Okay, a few changes we include the height. Let's go for 712, and this will be about 5. Okay, let's see. Because I'm dividing it, so I'm going to make this 143. Yeah. Okay, padding. Make this about 5. Okay, let's get rid of this for now we can always add it if we want there, that's the very first one so if I run it now this is how it's gonna look like there we go now let, let's add some more I'm just gonna copy this let's see first thing let's change this since I'm going to have more so I'm going to say grade equals rule rule in this case equals zero and column equals zero now the other ones will be column equals one right let's get this corrected and this one will be column one there this one will be two and this will be two two this will be three and this will be three okay so let's run it and see how it's going to look like all right it's on the side let's see it's not it's no it's supposed to be it's supposed to be roll Roll is one here, two, and three. This remains zero, zero, zero. Okay, save and run. There we go, that's fine. Now, the next thing is I will then declare the variables that I intend to use. So let's say the first one is going to be product code equals string variable and the other one let's say prototype it's also string variable uh, 
and so on there those are all the variables that I intend to use all declared so let me just add a line here so that you guys know what what is there so this very first one is going to be my these are variables and up here those are frames the frame starts from here there we go there the main frame and the subframe let's say we have a sub frames here right okay now that all of the variables are in place I will now add some widget save that control s and right here I've just commented out the areas I intend to enter a widget and the very first widget is going to be as follows this will be the very first widget I intend to use so this widget comprises of the label and the combo box inside the combo box I have a car van mini a mini bus and a truck so if I run it this is what you guys will see there we go okay I'm now going to add more widgets which have, we have to speed up as well there we go let's come down here so let's take it from here so number of days and the combo box I intend to use for the number of days so that's the label and here is the combo box and I have a label here text widget label another text widget and I've also included all of the variables that I intend to use so if I run that now this is what you guys will see and there we go okay so I have prototype the prototype and number of days okay all right so let's populate the next frame underneath so I'm gonna close that and I will now come here so the first one is widget frame 0 so the next one is going to be widget frame 1 and here for the next frame here are the lines of code for for a label actually and a combo box and we have a label and another combo box so if I run this now this is what you guys will see there we go so have a good look at it so that's going to be for my credit limit and here credit check okay select an item if it's yes or if it's no okay so I will now speed that up so have a good look at the lines of code because I'm going to speed that up now there we go those are the lines of code for the second frame so let's take it from the top here well first thing first let me run it then you see how it looks like there we go look at that all right so i'm just gonna speed that up and show you guys oh let me just show it to you anyway here are the lines of code take it from here and the second frame okay i'm gonna take it up there we go those are the lines of code it's just labels combo box labels combo box and so on and here I have a text field or text entry now take it down you can always pause your video and type it all out okay now let's run it there now let's take care of the third frame 
the case of the third frame I'm going to have to divide that frame into two and right in here underneath the comment I will divide the frame into two that is the frame for the third one so I've now divided the frame into two one is going to be widget frame two left and widget frame two right so if I run the program this is what you will see there we go look at that left and right now let's populate left close this and we will populate left right in here and right here guys those are the checkbox created for the second left frame or you can call it the third so if I run it this is what you will see there we go so when we check it now we need to be able to enter the data straight into text area or oh, text actually not text area okay I'm not using Java so if I run this now this is what we get there and in here I need to enter my tag subtotal and total and the text entering here so let's close that have a good look at those lines of codes I will go to the next one which is the second frame right take it up okay right in here now we we'll enter as follows there those are the lines of code labels and text entering okay so let's run it and right there tax subtotal and total and right underneath I intend to create the buttons so let's come right down here the buttons will be right underneath here let's just close up the where the button will be there buttons it is sorted there okay Let's just call it end of buttons right so we now enter our buttons there so this one will be button widget of widget three buttons okay and right here those are the lines of codes for the buttons Okay, so I'm now going to run this program so that you guys can see how it all looks like. So let's run it now. Let's see, there we go. However, there's nothing happening here. Nothing is happening at all. Okay, so let me just assume that the first part of this program is completed. So I'll see you guys in the second part.